Hey guys, what's up? My name is Namit and today our topic is to how to implement a API using Retrofit and how to parse JSON smartly with using latest technologies. So for this I am gonna use Rx Android, JSON and Retrofit. So let's get started now guys. Mm, this is the web page of Retrofit. and this is the web page of rx java's eruptor and from here we just need these gradles so i have already implemented these into my app dot app modules build dot gradle and i'm gonna put this into description so you can check it from description okay so guys first of all let me show you how i'm what kind of data i'm getting from api so I am getting a JSON kind of data which have seven list. <coughs> okay, so seven list, seven PDFs, list of PDFs, and the the element I am having this. I am having a ID, URL, name, type, and time in the JSON PDF object, JSON object, and I am getting JSON array. And let me show you how to make Pojo classes or model classes within a second so just copy this complete data of your API and open this URL I'm gonna put this URL into description so and paste your entire JSON here okay and then hit generate generate sorry okay and paste generate okay then as I told you I have a JSON of a JSON array of PDFs so I'm getting one JSON PDF class Java PDF class and also I'm getting a root object root object is this one this is my root object and this is my PDF object so imagine I have a root object which, con which contains seven PDF objects in an array okay and I I am assuming that you guys know what is array array is a collection of similar type of elements okay so guys now let me show you let me sh first let me show you the output of the project and suppose if our mobile application does not have internet then then our app will show this okay the internet is not available please check and blah 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 because API when you want to hit API your phone should have internet connection if you want to connect this server and get data from there you should have internet so now let's check this is a progress view this is just emulator issue don't worry so this is the data I'm getting from server this data okay so now what is happening here I just quote this data from server and I and I disable I hide the progress view and I am using these kind of structure activity interface model utils and retrofit client so guys let me tell you what retrofit use retrofit use a model classes three things needed in retrofit model classes interface which is here retrofit interface model classes here PDF and root object here it is root object and PDF okay so one is interface second is model classes and third is retrofit client so I am creating this client statically static method because I don't want to create an uh, every time uh, suppose if you if you have a very big application you have hundred if you have to hit hundred APIs then every time you cannot you cannot use this method new and blah 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 so just to make make things easier I have created this one method so every time I will call this method no need to implement these lines again I can do this only only in one method one line okay and also for checking internet I am using this method app utils check internet connection okay 
you guys if you guys need any thing from code you guys can tell me on whatsapp or comment section or anywhere i'll put i'll send you the code if needed okay and also you can copy this code like you can write in your while watching video just pause the video okay so this is my app utils and these are my models and this is my interface and retrofit interface work like this, this simple interface in which i have the path of the api okay no it is not the complete path but it just have the path of the api and server is server uh, path is excluded okay we have implemented server path here this is our server path and for security purposes i can show you the server path but it is just like www.facebook.com www.facebook.com you can implement anything any of your apis and like uh, if you have www.accessing.com you, you should implement it here and you are done then and your other api path you should write here and here I have observable observable root object root object is my model and I am getting PDF list this is my name of the method name of the method of this interface okay guys so for now let me show you my activity here what I am doing I have a let me show you first XML in this XML I have a progress view which is high visibility gone and a text view okay where I am showing this data so this text view progress but I am fetching the data initializing and initializing here and now here I am checking if my application have internet connection only then hit this API if my application have internet only then hit this API and show this progress view if we don't have internet then show the alert alert will gonna say internet connection not available which is here internet connection not internet not available please check your internet try again and this is my alert title here so this is my alert method alert builder dot set icon alert icon here this is androids icon r dot joyful set cancelable false alert title and set positive button new dialog interface and blah blah main activity dot finish and this this is i'm using to show the alert okay so this was when your application does not have internet now suppose when your application have internet then we are hitting this we are using this method we are calling this method so what this method does like i told you we have already this created so i'm creating i'm getting this method into my retrofit i'm creating a retrofit retrofit class object of this class retrofits this and i'm getting it from here get retrofit client which we created here this class just for time saving i'm using like this otherwise we have to create everything like new retrofit and blah 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 here and also now I am creating an interface I am creating this interface from here now this method this whole complete method will gonna call the server this will gonna tell the server like sir, we have this our application wants data from you and this is the path of the API so, so our Android application will tell server that please give me this get pdfs php please run this script this php code and give me this data pdfs data which is this one okay so server gonna give me give us this object this json so now api dot get pdf let just subscribe and observe on this is just used to get the status of the request like how much is downloaded it is completed or not and things like that so this is retrofits method for method subscribe next error complete 
so own next own next method will get called when you have finished your data so here i am what i am doing i am hiding my progress bar and i am checking null 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 everything because i can get null from server i don't trust anyone i am android developer i don't trust anyone i only trust my code and my application so that's why i am checking everything here because uh, and i am using this two string method mm. here just to convert this everything into a string format like this one is string format okay and i am setting this data to string into here so this is my text view so if i go suppose if i go to error then i am hiding my progress view and i am showing the alert this is very important because suppose if something bad happened your server is not running or it has a lot of load and it didn't respond it then progress will be show infinity infinity times so your server your user sorry your user will get confused and it will gonna put a bad impression on him that like bad things happen if your server is not working it can happen sometimes like say one day in a year but still you have to tell your user that man something bad happened please try again later something that's why i'm showing a alert here which will gonna same alert i'm using for internet and same alert i'm using for showing the api error okay guys now in the in next tutorial what i'm gonna do i will like we have this json data i'll gonna put this into a recycler view i'm gonna convert this all json data into a recycler view and also we will have a download button into recycler view or view button whatever where we will have where, where user will click on that button and you, they will see this pdf okay guys so that's it for now and if you think this video is worth please like it share it and subscribe my channel and comment and hit the bell please thank you thanks a lot and if you have any question please comments please use comment section thank you